Hey, Valoramas Vanguards. In today's DJ tour, we're going to discuss why you should incorporate tactical pauses in your schedule every so often. So as a DJ and producer, it's going to involve lots of hours. It can involve lots of discipline in order to achieve a certain level of excellence, proficiency, mastery. And along this journey, you will probably become competent in various areas. So I know the various areas that I have had to achieve a certain level of competence in are graphic design, videography, audio engineering, video editing, being a producer, being a DJ, marketing, promotion, email, strategy, just general organization and discipline, and some level of business acumen, copyright, understanding royalties. And you're gonna be becoming familiar or acquainted with all these various topics. And along the way, it can become very easy to become lost in the sauce, so to speak, lost in this vast experience amongst all these different skill sets and disciplines that you must learn. You will not become a master in all these skill sets and disciplines and these topics, but you will become at least competent or at least achieve a little bit of proficiency in these various areas. And along the way, I think it's important to schedule time to take a tactical pause not to be lazy, but to assess. You should assess those things that are no longer serving you, which you could either outsource or eliminate altogether. So I always provide this example of one area that I found that I could eliminate that was not serving me well. And that was for mixtapes. I was creating a new piece of album artwork every time I would release a mixtape. And so this was in the graphic design skill set that I named earlier. And so with graphic design, I had achieved a certain level of proficiency on several programs in order to produce either album artwork or YouTube thumbnails or DJ flyers or advertisements for social media or what have you. And for these mixtapes, I was creating a new album artwork every month for my monthly mixtape series. Well, what I determined was that that was no longer serving me because it was wasting my time or consuming my time when I, that time could be better spent either producing videos here like I'm doing here for YouTube or working on my craft as a producer or a DJ. So what I determined was I should pivot. And so I made a pivot with the mixtape series. And that was instead of doing a mixtape that was a different vibe each time, or maybe it was a same vibe, but it was different each time. So it would force me to create a new album cover. Why don't I pivot and do a radio show and this could be my monthly basically podcast or radio show that I do and then create one piece of album artwork, one album cover that I could use for all the radio shows. So now instead of spending an hour every month to create this piece of album artwork, I would not spend any of that time. I could just create the mixtape, which was DJ practice. And then I could use this Pete, this album cover, which would go for every podcast or every radio show series each month when I would release this, effectively a mixtape, but with announcements as more of a radio show. So it forced me to think, it forced me to really identify those areas that were consuming too much of my time and then eliminate those, or at least truncate this experience. So another example that I've given is hashtags for social media. Oftentimes I will use the same hashtags and what I will do is I will have a hashtag bank and then I can merely copy and paste that. So rather than spending all this time writing a new caption every time for social media, for example, for Instagram, I would have a bank of captions. I could create the new, the top of the caption could change, but then the bottom of the caption, which is all the hashtags, would just be a bank where I would copy and paste. And that saved me a lot of time. So when you have this tactical pause, that's maybe every month or every quarter, think about those things that you could eliminate or, or pivot and restructure. So another example would be, if you were spending too much time as a producer and not enough time as a DJ, you can sit down and think and maybe accumulate and maybe add up those hours that you're spending in each discipline and then reshift some of that time, some of those resources in another area. It also allowed me to think about how I spend my time doing menial tasks around the house. So for example, time doing yard work, time cleaning bathrooms, time preparing my own meals, time in transition, 
be, between going to the gym or going to get food or groceries, it really forced me to think about how I could better structure that time in order to free up time. Because we all have the same 24 hours in a day, but what you can do is reallocate that time to other areas. So if you could hire someone to do some of those tasks for you, such as laundry or clean the house, or you could have meals delivered to you, or have someone prepare the meals for you, or rather than going to the gym in one location, coming back, changing your house to maybe work clothes for maybe, for example, for your day job, and then going to another location, maybe you go to the gym, shower and change there, and then go to the next location, that way you're not creating a, a new leg in the logistics of your daily schedule. So think about really, you have to get really disciplined with your time, but I think having this pause is important. Every so often you need to define what, what's appropriate for you, but having this pause to be to yourself and then think and consider how you can restructure your resources, whether it's time or whether it's money, and then reallocate the resources elsewhere and then reassess at another interval in time. So if you want to learn more about how to become more organized as a DJ, then watch this video right here where I discuss the importance of organization within Breckerbox DJ software. Three, two, one, lose it.